How many different types of organisms do you see in this picture? Or how many different living and non-living items do you see in this picture? As you study these pictures, you begin to get a clue about what ecology is all about. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and what is ecology? Ecology is the study of how organisms interact with one another and with their physical environment. Ecology isn't just about rainforests or other types of forests. Have you seen mold grow on bread? Or mushrooms grow on rotting logs? Or watched ants search for food? If so, you have seen examples of ecology in action. One goal of ecology is to understand the distribution and variety of living things in their physical environment. For instance, you will find different living and non-living objects in the desert compared to a coral reef, compared to your backyard. These differences in nature are driven by interactions among living organisms as well as between organisms and their physical environment. As an example, let's go back to the mold growing on bread. Mold is more likely to appear on bread than, say, a rock. Why might this be the case? Well, maybe the mold needs certain nutrients to grow, and these nutrients are found on the bread and not on the rock. You can classify these interactions as either biotic, which means living organisms, and abiotic, which are non-living objects. Ants, dogs, fish, mushrooms, plants, and this praying mantis are examples of biotic factors. Clouds, sunshine, water, and diamonds would be examples of abiotic factors. Let's apply the idea of biotic and abiotic factors to another organism, one that a field ecologist might be likely to study. For years, the population of honeybees has been declining in North America. Bees are very important to their environment because they help pollinate plants. Understanding the main factors responsible for this decline in bees help ecologists form plans to protect the species. Ecologists may ask a question like this. Why is the bee population declining? Ecologists would then draw on many areas, including biology, genetics, earth science, chemistry, and physics, to name just a few to help solve this question. Ecology can be studied at five broad levels, the organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. Let's take a look at each level. Organism. An organism can range from a single protist to a large animal like an elephant. Population is a group of organisms of the same species that live in the same area at the same time. A community, a biological community consists of all the populations of different species that live in a given area. An ecosystem consists of all the organisms in an area, the community and the abiotic factors that influence the community and biosphere. This is planet Earth, viewed as an ecological system. So in summary, ecology is the study of how organisms interact with one another and their physical environment. And remember, kindness always multiplies kindness. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.